Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today I'm doing reply videos. I'm reading the screen in front of me, so if you wrote me in the last like week or so, chances are I'll probably get back to you. And if I have time, I'll go through like more of the older comments and stuff too. But I'll start off with the most recent stuff, okay? Top of the page, got Dominic. That's, uh, that's my cousin from Texas, actually. He writes back on, uh, makes a lot of sense, uniquely put. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. What up, cuz? Nice handstand. <laughs> Miss you, bro. <laughs> yes, I did a handstand on the last video, and I'm working out. So this is about the uh, supplements, Rad 140 PEDS or whatever, those series of videos or whatever. And also... Uh, some other video I did about overcoming depression or whatever. I don't know. I talk about random shit. But yeah, what up, cuz? Uh, if you're still riding, maybe we can ride in a couple months or whatever. Have a new bike and have one down there your way too. So maybe we could do that. What else? Next message. Margaret, that's moms. For those of you who don't know, Margaret in the comment section is my mom. Hey, mom. She watches the channel too. She says 15 hours ago, let it go, move on. <laughs> on a video I titled God Don't Like No Ugly update on the task force entrapment team or whatever but it's easy for you to say mom you don't have you know by the way this this man followed you in your Durango me to the dollar store etc to other countries this and that I don't let shit go that easily especially if there's my money and time involved you know let it go move on not me I can't do that not that easily for most things, most things are reconcilable, but some things need to be paid. Some debts need to be paid off, and uh, I feel like I'm owed in that respect or whatever. So, no, I can't let it go and move on. If that's the case, you should call my dad up and go talk with him. You can't even take a picture with the man. Come on. So, yeah, you let that go, then I'll let this go. Not so easy, huh? Yeah, see, I'm not from the Martin Luther King turn the other cheek generation. If you wrong me, I'm going to make an example out of you. And if someone's a fucked up person, a snitch, this and that, I'm going to let the world know. Let them be a marked motherfucker if they fuck with me. Okay? So that other people, because like chances are if people fuck with me, they fuck with other people too. Okay? I feel that it's my duty. If I'm fucked with, I'm going to let everyone know, hey, that guy's a fucked up person. Maybe you shouldn't fuck with them because this happened to me and it may happen to you in turn. So that's why I can't let it go and move on. When they decide to pay me off and apologize and reconcile, then I'll let it go. Until such time, I've told this man, live and let live. You know, he still continues fucking around. So make an example out of him. All right. Next comment, Terrell Brown about my landlord video um yeah that's some shit i'm actually if you guys didn't play that video i i, I got a property in florida i'm selling it by choice but i i think that the, the country is in a real estate bubble that's about to pop and if you're a landlord like me you can't collect rent and that's a bad thing and you can't kick the people out of your house because there's an eviction moratorium and you can't list it on the mls so it's a very difficult situation to be in and that's why i did the video so this guy writes quote unquote terrell uh to me they're squeezing people out of their property so they could sell and the bank's big business can gain these properties that's probably what's happening in my case but probably on a larger scale a forced sale if you push if you push all semi middle class people that at least have more than one house to sell their property then they're all in the same poor boat basically you're either extremely rich or you're poor there's no middle ground left right so it says if we look back to the great depression we see the circumstances were similar to today yet banking was vulnerable back then too couldn't fully capitalize on the devastation of that event now we're moving to a new depression economically Banks have fractional reserve banking as well as quantities even from the Fed who will supply them with a limitless amount of money. These, these groups are essentially gaining our assets for free. It's totally nuts. I agree. And if I were you though, bro, and if you have tenants, you may want to sell now because they may decide to stop paying you. And then what? You're going to be left with your dick in your hand. I'm not going to be in that position. Okay? If you got a house, you got a mortgage, you should be living in it at this point, in my opinion. If you have more than one, 
you're kind of in a vulnerable position if you have renters who can take advantage of you because you don't have any recourse. What are you going to do? Light the lawn on fire? Smoke them out? I mean, you, how do you get people out of your house who refuse to go? What if you call 911 and you can't kick them out, as in my case? And you got to sell it under them on the, on, on the low ball. Whatever. you got to liquidate shit sometimes. Take a loss. So whatever. I ain't mad at it, but I'm not going to be standing there while the value plummets and I'm still not collecting and I'm still paying property taxes to a state that doesn't protect my property. You know, go fix that shit. The system's broken. This guy left two more YouTube videos in his comments. Uh, I'll have to play those a little later because I'm just going down my comment list now. Next comment, tricky parts two days ago on the Rad 140 stuff. Good shit, dude. <laughs> Thumbs up, man. You know, gym guys, like they say, muscle heads, we keep it simple, right? Right on, man. Do what you do. But by the way, the stuff hasn't made me lose any weight either. I'm, I'm at 177.2 pounds, which is pretty much my weight staying the same. So it's not for weight loss. It's more for strength, power, and muscle gain. Uh, okay, what is this, guys? I am energy. Six days ago, right? If black people was here first... I love how black people type. If black people was here first, how can Asians be native? Where is y'all getting this from? I'm going to reread that. Wait, if black people was here first, how can Asians be native? Where is y'all? Okay, the video that he's replying to was called Why Native Americans Are Asians and Why They Keep This Fact Hidden. There's about five videos in the series I did. And they're writing. They have a, uh, what do they call it? Avatar of Malcolm X. <laughs> or whatever but yeah for one I don't I can't tell you that black people were here first I don't know that you'd have to look at the bones I'm not a scientist I'm not an expert in that field I've heard a lot of theories they say that black people were here first Africa was first I don't know that to be sure I don't know if that's I really don't know I'm the wrong person to ask on that that wasn't the topic of my video by the way uh, my topic was about <laughs> Asians being Native Americans and vice versa. I didn't even bring black people into this at all, so I have no idea if black people was here first. That wasn't even, nigga, that's not even the video. That's another video. You might have confused it with mine. But anyway, somebody wrote him back named John Doe. He says, 10 hours ago, even recently, he says, quote, unquote, they say, the na they say that the Native Americans came from, quote, unquote, the bridge and use the mongoloid straight hair feature to get the Amer Indians to be associated with Asians, yet Native Americans had all types of hair from straight, wavy, curly, and kinky. Yet everyone wants to talk about it, and that's probably why these black Americans are claiming to be Native American because of that feature the Native Americans had. This is all propaganda to get people to fight more. Mainly it's targeted, with targeted in caps, towards those who lost their heritage and don't know who they are. Thumbs up plus a heart. Yep. I think the white man schooled you there. Mm-hmm. It's all propaganda. How do I know he's a white man? Because his username is John Doe, and there's a graphic icon of a fucking, looks like a pilgrim or a cowboy. Looks like the Quaker oatmeal man. I don't think a black person would use that avatar. So, yeah, it's very true. And he's telling me himself this is used to divide people. <laughs> It's all propaganda to get people to fight more. Mm-hmm. Probably so. He would know. Okay, next comment. Censored MGTOW one week ago. Says, I'm MGTOW and have never and never have screwed plastic. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now. He's replying to a video called Ask Shimmy Expensive Sex Dolls Living Off Grid Start a Cult. You've never screwed plastic. More power to you, brother. I'm giving you a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea why you brought that up. The sex dolls weren't for me. Somebody wrote that in another video about he said he's going to go buy an expensive sex doll and live off the grid. Yeah. So, whatever. You could buy a lot of hookers for what a sex doll costs, probably. Okay, next one. Jordan Miller, one week ago. Riding back to the same Native American video, why Native Americans are Asian. This guy looks like, uh, I can't tell, but Jordan Miller, that's a white American name. He's wearing Ray-Bans, got a beard, 
looks pretty anonymous anyway I can't tell he might be native I don't know you can never tell by people's avatar pictures these days all right okay he says yes Native Americans share a common ancestry with East Asians but more so with northern Siberian peoples However, we have been in the Americas for well over 14,000 years, and some scientists believe even longer. We have been cut off from any contact with them for several millennia. There's a huge difference between race and ethnicity. The reason why Native Americans don't acknowledge Asian origins is because we've been here far too long to have any real connection anymore. It's like asking why Irish people don't acknowledge their Indo-European roots anymore. Over time, you, you become your own distinct people, and there are over 570 tribes in the U.S. alone. So in short, we have a common ancestry, but we are not the same. That was a very good explanation, and I'm giving it a thumbs up and a heart. Thank you so much for your input, sir. All you people that write this stuff to me and write in the comments, it really helps to clarify shit. And it's always better when people from that particular group of whatever people can write back in whatever. That way you get it from their mouth. You know what I'm saying? They're living it. They're living in that skin so they would know better. All right. What else? Diaper perv. You always speak the honest truth. Thank you so much. Next comment. This was about video why two out of 1000 girls hate me part one two three this is the truth society has different expectations of men and women if there were no gender expectations with no in capital just equal human expectations then things would be so much better i'm sorry for the quality of women you had to deal with in your life <laughs> that gets a heart too <laughs> next comment Kinopsia one week ago. That's very bad shooting form. Oh, reply to video. Meanwhile, at the pokey, po the archery video. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm pretty new to the crossbow, bow and arrow, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm not sure what proper shooting form is. I have been watching some of the Olympic girls' videos of archery, and they they have clearly different types of uh, equipment than I have. But very interesting, nonetheless. Next comment, Margaret, moms, love yourself, breathe, it's winter, take care of yourself. <laughs> Same video. Uh, another comment, moms, women's classes are usually taught by lesbians. Self-love, tourist countries take your money, honey. Association, question mark, question mark, question mark. Smiling faces can be deceiving.